G'day, today we're going to have a look at level 4 in the Sapphire DLC of Cream Valley 2. This one's called Farm Valley. So we've got 11 minutes, we have to avoid train crashes, and we can't allow trains to arrive at the wrong station. Alright, so we've got unlimited electricity. This is my first look at this one. It's canned goods that we need, as well as steel plates. Steel plates need steel that is just bought. Uh, so I would say that we're going to be starting with... How do we build this road? Wheat. Uh, can we get the wheat out in any other direction? Yes, okay, so then... We want to cut that down this way. That. And the electricity can just cross that path. Can we run across the top of the mountain there? We can. And then I guess we can run across the top of the mountain there. Now, we don't need slabs to be able to get back. So that's an acceptable way of having that layout go. Uh, these guys want sixes. We can upgrade a train straight away. We don't need any more... Um, any more of anything. Let's buy a, a four-seater train immediately here. Because the difference in speed is that's 123 versus this guy's 98. Is worthwhile. So the only thing we currently don't have connected is the canned goods. In fact, I probably could have avoided having those two completely connected at all and um, worked on upgrading trains. I'm going to do that. Let's start, let's start again. So we're going to go straight up the hill, loop back a little bit, down on that guy, and have this one turn up. Go straight across. There was it. The one that allowed that to happen. So let's put that like there. We don't need electricity for this half of things yet. We can upgrade three of our trains. I mean, you can see we're at the mercy of the workers being made. So no super rush here on getting the rest of the stuff connected. That's enough to get our other guy up to four seats. Interestingly, you can see the steel plates we only need six of here. So that suggests that that's the thing it actually thinks we should be doing first. Not, not on my watch. Because now what we can do is we can move all of this wheat and get twice as much um, for it as we were for doing the uh, workers. We need eight cows in total. Well, then we need uh, eight wheat as well. So we'll shift these two guys. And then we'll shift four more guys over to the wheat. The question is, how do we get these guys connected? Come around there. Okay. Do that. Get a little bit cleaner of a road. I mean, I got pointed the wrong way for initial part there. Let's get eight guys over to the cows. And I don't want to slow you down, I just want to make that connection. Okay, then with our money we can run across here. send our wheat down, make a bit more of a chunk of money, getting them delivered. Speed things up so we've got that 10,000. Let's get these guys over into the slabs. But we're going to need 14 slabs total, so essentially 16 tabs as uh, slabs. Be what we're going to need to make here. So once these first two guys have gone past, uh, well, let's send some workers into here. Basically, it's about just making some quick money so we can get some slabs um, on the move over here and get that started. 
also need to make that connection. So when you've got an electricity line that um, doesn't require anything, all it has to do is crisscross a line and it will get all the way to, to where it needs to be. Okay, so we can now send some of this. So we're going to get more money for the delivery of this than it cost us to, um, to make. So that means that we should have a quick little turnaround of once that guy arrives, we can then get another one going. I'm going to move the cows. And then we're going to need to get eight more workers up to the, um, the steel plates. Surely there must be an easier way to get from the plates to the canned goods so we don't have to send them all the way through the rest of the network. I say that as I send my workers the long way here as well. Um, if we go say out this way... Doesn't look like it. Basically what we'll do is we will have these guys arrive in here, which they'll all fit. And then as they do, we'll send what we can afford of two lots of these in behind them. As they get in there, we will send two lots of the plates over to the canned goods. And we will send, I guess we only have to send six, so we can send those two guys there into workers. And then we can just quickly wait for these guys to manufacture, and done. Real time killed it, current time. Not too bad. Funds are pretty good as well. Uh, any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.